Hey Brave, how you doing today? Good. What are your, you, you like dinosaurs, right? Yeah. What are your favorite dinosaurs? Can you name them? Yes. What are they? A T-Rex. What else? A Brontosaurus, a Piccolodactyl, and a Triceratops. What? Oh my, keep your, yeah, yeah, a Triceratops. What's, do you remember daddy's favorite dinosaur? Yeah. What is it? Oh my goodness, man! You are so good. How do you even remember that? Cause I, cause my, cause I get so smart with my brain. <laughs> <laughs> you get so smart with your brain. Yes. Okay. Say, tell everybody that you love dinosaurs. They're your favorite things. Um, I love dinosaurs. They're my favorite things. <laughs> All right. Say bye. Bye bye. I just did this face for no particular reason other than it's Thursday and me and Greg are hanging out at the house with no kids. So now I'm about to tackle their bedroom, which I'm going to let you see. Why you should not have two children in close age range. Because this is what they do to your house. Let's, let's look at their room. Do you see this? They make us put their beds together. Okay, usually this one is on this wall and this one is on this wall. They make us put them together and they call this their pirate ship. They just put stuff everywhere and I don't understand. Why is the potty in here? Wish won't even use the potty. Why is the potty in here? I don't understand. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to tackle this room. I'm going to clean it. Dirty room. Clean room. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I cleaned. I vacuumed. So at some point, these, these beds are going to have to go. They were cribs that you could convert to like these day beds. We're going to get rid of these and they're going to get a bunk bed. Probably going to go on this wall. And then we're going to get them a TV and mount it on this wall. That's the plan. Hopefully before this year ends, these beds will be gone. Some of these toys are going to be gone because they just have too much stuff. This is probably going to be gone. And that's their room. Mama, can you get a Yo, 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 yo. Uh, Welcome back. Me over here. Oh. We focusing on the kids today. Hi. Wishy, say hi. Look at your face. I want to say hi to the kids. Where are we going today? The car wash. <laughs> this is what COVID has done to families. They make the car wash interesting. <laughs> but at the car wash, at the car wash, <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a bunch of rainbows, man, that go through the thing, you know, when we ride through. So I'm going to take my girls through there. Brave has been through there before with me. A wish has never been so uh, excuse me right here we didn't want to spend another saturday in the uh, house today we're going to the car wash at the car and wash we're gonna see the flashing lights hey and we're gonna get our car cleaned that's and right and come and i'm so excited you where's peppa, peppa pig, pig? thank you Betty. you're welcome wishy so now we are going to have a special day at the car wash. What else are we going to do when we get back home? 
We're gonna make slime. Hey, we're gonna show y'all how to make slime from your own house. Nickelodeon. And that is watch so out. much fun. Like, we're going to have so much fun with it. And if you like to subscribe, you can have us have some fun. So, you can stay on the camera. We'll be back when we get to the car wash and you can see it. So, bye. We're pulling up. At the car wash, about to see this rainbow. Club only. We ain't in no club. We just want our car wash. We're talking about a club. Car wash club. Oh wow, that's the genie from Aladdin. That's so cheesy. Whose idea was that? Who thought of that? This don't say no cell phone use beyond this. How they gonna tell me I can't use my cell phone at the car wash? You always wanna, um... You just don't like being told what to do. Star Wars! It doesn't matter if the rule makes sense or not. You just okay, don't want nobody to tell you. Okay, let's get our car. Han Solo! Luke Skywalker! Oh, Dark Maul! <laughs> <laughs> Say it again, Wish. He's not listening. Y'all ready? Yeah. Here we go. Look at the rainbows. Now daddy got to do his thing thing. I'm going to leave y'all with the AC on. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Thanks. That's nice of him. 20 minutes later. Twenty minutes later. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. We missed y'all. We missed y'all. Who, what's your name? Where's my Are you a scientist or are you a chemist? I'm a scientist. Well, we're doing a chemistry experiment I'm, today. I'm a chemistry. Chemist. I'm a chemist. Let's add some sand. Okay, so let's let's tell everybody what we're making today. What are we making today? Slime. <laughs> what color slime? Blue slime. Okay, so what are what are we using to make the blue slime? Say measuring cup. Is no, this is the measuring cup. Measuring cup. Say beaker. Beaker. Okay, what is this? A pipe. What is this? Sand. What is this? Blue. What is this? Uh, sodium. Sodium. Tetraborate. Tetraborate. And a plastic spoon. And um, a measuring cup. A pipe. teaspoon. And a teaspoon. And what are those? Uh, cups. Styrofoam cups. Styrofoam cups. All right. So my baby, my baby, I love you too, pumpkin. So we're going to we're going to follow these directions and make some blue slime. Okay. I'm ready. All right, we back. We back. Let's start. Okay. So the directions say: Step one, 
Fill a disposable cup with 25 to 30 milliliters of warm water. So you're gonna take one styrofoam cup, bring it over here, and then you're gonna take your beaker. Well, I mean your measuring cup. And dump the water into the styrofoam cup. Great job, baby. So then from there, we're going to add one teaspoon. Get the teaspoon. Good job. We're gonna add one teaspoon of sodium tetraborate. So I'm gonna give that to you. And dump it into the cup. Good job, good job. So then, we're gonna stir the solution with the plastic spoon. Stir it up. Be careful, don't. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> let, let daddy make one stir. All right. All right. And then we're gonna set that aside. So then next, step two. Fill a second cup. So you wanna get your other cup and then get your beaker and pour all that water into the beaker. Okay, good. So then from there, we're going to pour 10 milliliters of glue. So 10 milliliters of glue is about a teaspoon. So we're just gonna pour the glue into this teaspoon and let daddy do, hold on, hold on. I know, well here, you can do it. I'm, I'll just take it off with my finger because I have on gloves. I just don't want you to touch it. Good job, let me. Push the rest of that out into the styrofoam cup. Okay. So then next, stir with the mixing okay, stick until the solution more. is mixed. Okay, so we don't have our mixing stick, so we're just going to use our spoon again. Stir that up. Okay. All right, um. Can I pour it all in? Add the contents of one bag of sand, yep. I can add it all. Okay. Yeah. Be careful if this, the. Can I stir it up? Place your pipe into the warm, hold on. This pipe it? Add the entire contents of one bag of sand and then stir. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, so hold on, look. So you're gonna take your pipe it and we're gonna, no, not in here, in here, in this one. So we're gonna take and let daddy do this part because, here, hold the spoon. Let's let mommy look and see what it looks like in here. Look. Can you see that? Can I see? Hold on, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's liquidy. I want to see. But we're going to keep stirring. All right, hold on. Daddy got to give you another drop. Boop, boop. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't want you to put too much. You stir. Stir it up. Okay, here, stir it with the spoon. All right, so we're gonna keep stirring, like, and it's still watery, so we're gonna add some more sodium tetraborate. Stir it up some more. I can do it myself. Well, let's see, we gotta get, make sure we get all the way down in there. Oh, I feel it, Bravey. It's starting to get thick. It's starting to get slimy. All right, hold on, hold on. Because we don't want to put too much. It's 
just liquidy. It's not supposed to be as liquidy. Like it's supposed to, like you can see it's like mm -hmm. wanting a slime, but it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to clump. Aren't you supposed to take it out and like do it more with your hands too? Yeah, but I don't think you do that while it's like all like uh -huh. that, because it says once solution clumps together. Mm -hmm. Then you have to make it all liquidy. I don't know what that says it. Unfortunately, the slime was a fail. What's up, Kim is brave? Uh, yeah, something is upset with me. What? We're gonna make liquid. Liquid layers. We're gonna make liquid layers. Yay! Yay! Okay. We're gonna add red. We're gonna add the. You want the red food coloring? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one of the ingredients. So first, we're gonna take this. this and we're going to dump, no, not that. We're going to dump honey in here, okay? Honey. So we're just gonna dump a little bit of honey. Hold it with me, and let's dump it so it just fills up the bottom. Just like that. Mmm. So we have one layer. You see that? So then, pour syrup. Let's pour the syrup on top of the honey. Squeeze it. Good job. That's two. You see that? Look at how they're separated. See how the honey is down here and the syrup is up there? Y'all see that? Bam. That's at this. No, wait. We got to read the directions. Then pour in the dishwashing soap afterwards. This is our dishwashing soap. Let's add it. Let's add it. Oh, look at how it's separating. So now we have three layers. Look at that. You see that? That's a lot of dish soap, man. It's disproportionate. Hold on. You should start to see that all these components are sitting on their own layer inside of the container. You see that? Honey, syrup, dish soap, right? So now, in a separate container, we're going to add... Mix some food coloring with water. Once this is done, pour this into your container on top of the soap. So, okay, I'm gonna pour some water in here and I'm gonna let you add in the food coloring. Okay? Okay, hold on, because this is messy. I don't wanna get it on you. I want to do it myself. Okay, here. Do a couple of squeezes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good. Good job. Now pour that in there. <laughs> did, it, did it mess up the layers? Once this is done, pour this into your container on top. You should now see four separate layers. Kind of. It's kind of coming up to the top, but we probably needed to pour it a little bit more slow, slower, because it's kind of like mixed into the dish soap a little bit. But next, add vegetable oil to create a fifth layer. So let's do that. See that fifth layer? It's sitting right on the top. See that? Make sure you have a perfectly even level layer of oil. Let me add a little bit more. Okay, that's good. All right, so next, in a separate container, mix some food coloring with some rubbing alcohol. So I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol in here. Alcohol. 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 And this time we got, hold on, hold on. Where's the food coloring? I like red. You wanna use, let's use a different color so it'll be different, what color? Yellow. That's kind of yellow. Let's use blue or green. Which one? Green. Here, let me open it for you. And that's, here. Do like six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. You did like ten. <laughs> 
Okay, now pour. Let's pour slow here. Slowly. Slowly. This is crazy. It's layers though, you see that? Do y'all see that? Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six layers. And that's what it says. The reason your various different liquids all stayed on their own level is because we put all of the heaviest liquids at the bottom. So syrup, can you say syrup? <laughs> syrup is heavy. Can you say honey is heavy? Yes, honey is heavy. The heaviest liquids have the most mass per unit volume or the highest density. Can you say density? Density. Density. Liquids that are less dense than the ones below them will just rest on top as opposed to falling to the bottom and blending with the others. Okay, can we play with the liquid? So we have liquid layers. Let's play with it. What are we going to play? How are we going to play with it? Then by dumping it out and playing with it. <laughs> so, first we have to put the liquid in the oven. We're going to cook the liquid now? Uh-huh. So we can go ready for us to play with. I mean, no. <laughs> Let's just put it in there so we can play with it. You want to dump it in the fish tank? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for making it. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to the camera? Uh huh. Can we get some chocolate, camera? Some chocolate? Uh -huh. Man, she is a Brookstone chocolate fanatic. That's all she wants every day. She's like, Daddy, can I get a piece of chocolate? I cleaned up. Can I get a piece of chocolate? Daddy, I ate. Can I get a treat? Can I get a piece of chocolate? She'd be like, Four pieces. Four is my favorite number. Where'd you go, chemist? Come back. I want everybody to see you real quick in your um, lab coat. Stand up. Doesn't she look so cute? Okay, let's say bye. Bye. Bye, thanks for watching.